joy in everyone We're having lots of fun Superbook fell off the shelf Look what they've done We didn't hit the computer Oh, they were surprised Superbook got programmed in Now it's computerized Now it's computerized Superbook, take a look Our story for today... A gift from heaven! At the house just down the street and around the corner, life goes on as usual. Take it easy, Tanya. Tanya, I'm the boss. No! And I must be obeyed. Understand? No, Tanya. That's a priceless treasure from ancient Egypt. If anything happens to it, I'll be ruined. Oh, no! Dad, oh, what's the matter? My back. I think it's broken. Oh! Hold on, I'll get it. Uh. Hmm? Oh, wow, dear. what a big dog. Where's he from? He belongs to our next-door neighbor. He asked me to take care of her for a week. I'm sure Ruffles won't mind. By the way, where is Ruffles? Tanya's a very friendly dog. I'm sure they'll get along very well. Oh, uh, where is Ruffles? That's a very good question. <laughs> oh, well, she can't have gone very far. She'll come home in time. In time for dinner, no doubt. Oh, look at that. That's Ruffles' bowl. Tanya must have picked up her scent. Careful, Tanya. Oh, help! I think Tanya wants me for her dinner! Oh, no, come here, you big mama! Here, Tanya! What's up, Master Uriah? Uncle Fred bought home a great big mutt. Not really a mutt, but not as nice as Ruffles. Poor Ruffles. Why, we just gotta find her. We tried. Maybe we should try a different period of time. A different place. Tanya, stop pulling. Uh -oh. Joy, help me. It's that dog, Gizmo. We should jump in the time machine. Right. It is set for ancient Egypt. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's going upstairs. He smells jury up there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's Ruffles he smells. Could be. Oh, got you now. They're time traveling again. Looking for Ruffles, I suppose. Let's see where they went. I'll use the same coordinates, but get a graphic display. There, it's shaping up. What do you think, Joy? That looks like the Sphinx. It's ancient Egypt. Right. Now all we have to do is find Yuri and Gizmo. This time, little Yuri and his faithful crusader robot Gizmo find themselves in Egypt, all right. But in Egypt, far different than it was when Joseph was governor. Now there's a new pharaoh who put slave masters over the Israelites and forced them to work. Get up, you lazy good for nothing! Oh, look at that. Brutal. He beats us as if we were beasts, not men. They're the beasts. That'll be enough complaining. Get to work. I think that 
we had better go and look some other place. Right, I agree with you. But where are we going to find Ruffles? In the palace? It's impossible. Those Israelites have become much too numerous for us. The more they are oppressed, the more they multiply and spread. Yeah, I agree. If they were to become more numerous, and war were to break out, they might join with our enemy and defeat us. You're right. We must do everything in our power to reduce the number of Hebrews. How do you plan to do that? Easy. Of the Hebrews, every boy that is born must be thrown into the river, but let the girls live. You are there to be drowned? No boys, no men to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific! Thank you for feeding me. That really hit the spot. Too bad you don't eat. <laughs> There's lots more if you want. Where do you two hail from, by the way? Oh, uh, we've come a long way. Looking for our dog. Your dog ran away? Oh, my dear. Does a little Uriah here remind you of the precious son that was born to us? Mm-hmm. Really? If you have a little boy, why can't I meet him? You see, our boy was lost when he was still a baby. The best thing that could have happened. I don't understand. What do you mean? He died. Really? And that was good because our son was spared a lifetime as a slave. That'd be awful. As we saw. In spite of all the troubles we Hebrews have, we are not uncharitable. That's right. You may stay in our house until you found your lost dog. Uh... That'd be nice, but... But what? We better not. We gotta move on. We're running out of time. Right. Oh, I see. What a pity. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mother, please. Let's go back home with the baby. Dear him, three months I kept him, but I can hide him no longer from the Pharaoh's soldiers. God will protect our babe. Mama. <laughs> Miriam, set it on the ground now. I don't think we'll ever find that dumb dog. Never thought I'd see the day when you would give up. But then Ruffles is just a dog after all. Guess I was mistaken. Oh, white right, Gizmo. You mean you're not really quitting? I'll have you know I'm not a quitter. Not unless... Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Look there. See what I see? Hmm? <laughs> What is it? The Paris basket. But I hear a baby quiet. Must be inside. Oh, quick, hide! Your father, the pharaoh, would not find this amusing. I don't care. Hmm? What's the matter, your highness? Listen, a baby. <gasps> I 
I'll go get the basket and bring it here. Wait, I'll come with you. There, hush, little one. I want to hold it. Well, if you really want to. <laughs> oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, oh it's adorable. It's oh, no. It's oh, no. oh, I think he's smiling at me. He's darling. We'll take care of oh. you. I'd say you had a way with children, Your Highness. This certainly must be a child of the Hebrews. I guess his mother did this to save his life, wouldn't you say? I agree. And their God delivered him to me. Excuse me. Huh? Huh? Yes? What do you want? Hmm. I'm sorry if I surprised you. My name is Miriam. Would you like me to find a Hebrew woman to nurse the baby? Why, yes. I think that that would be a marvelous idea. Would you bring her to me just as soon as you can find an available nurse? Are you going to adopt this boy? Yes. I shall raise him as if he were my own baby, and no one, not even the Pharaoh my father, need know any different. I pledge you all to keep my secret. And now, Miriam, go as quickly as you can to fetch a nurse for my baby. Yes, Your Highness. about that? First he's abandoned and the next thing you know he's in the royal family. Truly amazing. <laughs> thank God. His life's been spared. And thank you, Miriam. No, God did it all. <laughs> I'm tired. Same here. I conclude that Ruffles is not in this time period. I must agree with you this time, Gizmo. But which time is the right time? Perhaps. Yes, let the computer pick it. Does it know how? One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. And away we go! It must be nice to have a robot with a built-in time machine. Anyway, before we join Gizmo and little Yuri on their new time period, let me tell you what happened to that baby that was set afloat on the River Nile. The Pharaoh's daughter found the baby and actually said to the baby's own mother, take this baby and nurse him for me and I will pay you. When the child grew older, he was returned and she named him Moses. As the son of a princess, he was educated to be a prince. Moses grew up to be a fine young prince, but this was not a happy time in Egypt, especially for the Hebrews who were forced to work as slaves. Oh, get up! Get up! Get up! What a vicious guard! Didn't I tell you to get up? What do I have to do? Beat you until you can't get up! Get up! How can I stand by and do nothing when an Egyptian is beating one of my own people? Ow! Can't you program softer landings? Right. I'll work on it. I wonder where we are now. I'd say Egypt, but several years later. Look. That looks like the Pharaoh's palace. Excuse me, do you mind if I interrupt? Not at all. What are you studying? Some geometry. Really? Oh, Moses, you've turned out to be such a fine young man. I am proud to call you my son. Thank you. <laughs> no need to be so formal. Moses, the reason for my visit is to tell you that Father is giving a banquet tonight, and he hopes to see both of us there. That's very kind of him, but... Moses, in all of Egypt, no man is more powerful than my father. You understand? Yes. It all 
temples seem so hollow. They laugh and carry on while my people cry out in pain. My people? Oh, Mother, please tell me what to do. Moses. Moses, my son, you must always remember the heritage of your forefathers. Believe in the one almighty God. Put your faith and trust in him who is the creator of the entire universe. Of course. May I never forget. Be a man. I will be. You know he's a Jew. Of course, <sighs> even as you and I. The difference is, we have to sweat and slave for these Egyptians, while Moses... Ah, forget Moses. He's forgotten all about his being born into the Hebrew nation. He wouldn't lift a finger to help any one of us. I only thought, as long as he's a household pet in the Pharaoh's palace, he might try. Forget it. He's a lost cause. Hopeless. How can one man possibly make the Pharaoh change his mind? More, please don't whip me. Maybe it'll make you work. Oh, please. I haven't eaten all day. That's why I'm slow. Ah! <laughs> oh, sir, please. <laughs> I please. <laughs> that man must be a devil. <laughs> <laughs> All you Hebrews are alike, but a taste of my whip shows you who's boss. Lazy good for nothing. <laughs> But you are stupid. No, don't! Stop fighting! Are you all right? Moses. Two Hebrews fighting. Shame on the both of you. You're behaving like wild animals. This man is your brother. What would you do? Kill him even as Cain killed Abel? Hmm. You no right to lecture me, high and mighty Moses. Well, just let me tell you something about being your brother's keeper. Who made you judge and ruler over us? Or are you planning to kill us the way you killed the Egyptian guard? You know... I was on the spot and saw your crime. Don't talk to me about morals. Oh, really? And I just might report it to the Pharaoh. <laughs> Wait, don't leave me with this murderer! So, my deed haunts me. Oh, what's been done is done and there's no undoing it. <laughs> what I did will soon be known by the Pharaoh. What? Moses murdered one of my taskmasters? Yes, your majesty. A Hebrew slave gave an eyewitness account of it. Vengeance will be mine. 
You, summon your men. Yes, sir. It is my command to kill Moses. Do you mean it, sir? Father, please, have mercy. He must have had good reason. Shut no. up. I will not tolerate traitors under my own palace roof. Find him, arrest him, and kill him. And let it be a warning to all the Hebrews in this land. Yes, yes sir. My poor darling. <laughs> <laughs> But Moses fled from Pharaoh's men, and he set out across a desert, alone, heading for the land of Midian, where he would be unknown. But what about our little friends Yuri and Gizmo? Last time we saw them, they had time travel 20 years ahead to continue their search for their dog Ruffles. But their search seems to have been in vain. Our search has been in vain. I know. It must have been computer error to bring us here. Where could Waffles be? Huh? Chris calling Yuri and Gizmo. Can you hear me? Listen, that's Chris's voice. Gary, how are you? We've been worried about you. Hi, Joy. I'm fine. Gizmo's all right, too. But we haven't found Waffles yet anywhere. Listen. We were checking the monitor and we saw something that looked like Ruffles and Midian. Midian? Midian? Can you take us to Midian? Of course. Do you doubt my capability? Wow. I hope you find Ruffles. Bye now. I'm going to wind up your spring real tight to give you lots of energy. All right, but be careful. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not too tight, please. You might break my spring. I am ready now. Then let's get going. Oh.